This year's Disruptor 50 list is chock full of companies making breakthroughs in AI. Cohere develops natural language processing models that clients can deploy to build chatbots, search, search engines, and more. Cohere currently has strategic partnerships with Google and AWS. Joining us now on set is Cohere CEO and co-founder Aiden Gomez. Aiden, thanks so much for being here with us. Can you give us some examples? We just talked about search engines and chatbots, but real life examples of what your technology does and perhaps even how it's improved businesses. Yeah, so one of the ones that I'm most excited about is transforming customer support. So we're partnered with LivePerson, who's using us to help augment their hundreds of thousands of agents with these large language models to make them more efficient, more effective, uh, better customer support agents. And do you have quantifiable results that you could share with us? How have they improved these? Nothing, nothing publicly because yet. Because we could certainly use it yeah. for those of us that have been waiting on hold for a long time. So. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, there's this paper out of MIT. It came out about six weeks ago. I don't think it's peer-reviewed yet, but um, the results are amazing. Like, when you look at it, there was an efficiency increase of something like 37%. That, that's extraordinary, right? Like, that's like industrial revolution level large. Um, so I, I think what the steam engine did for mechanical work, mechanical labor, this technology is going to do for intellectual labor. Wow, that's a pretty big statement. I mean, are these things coming for all of our jobs as they read content and then can regurgitate essays or written releases? I, I don't think so. I think there's always going to be human in the loop. Uh, and so I think it's going to be augmentative as opposed to a replacement. What you're going to see is humans are going to become 10 times as effective at what they do. They're not going to go away or be displaced. Uh, it, it'll also take time to integrate this technology into our existing stack, right? It won't be an overnight switch where people lose their jobs overnight. I think, you know, corporations might make excuses about layoffs saying it's on behalf of AI, but the reality is it's going to be a slow process over the next half decade, and there will be time to adjust, change your own job, and frankly, you're going to love it because it's going to make your job easier. You're going to get to focus on the things that that you care about, that you're best at. And give us a sense, you know, we look at um, the markets, we look at new technologies through the lens of the public markets, right? And there aren't too many peer plays. There's some massive platforms. You just named a couple of them that you are partnered with. Give us a sense of what it's like out there. You've obviously built this company over years and you are preparing for this moment. What's it like right now? Do you feel like you're more partnering or competing with the large platforms? So right now it's an extraordinary moment. Like I think it, it, like just at the level of technology development, a few months ago was the first time people held a conversation, an intelligent conversation with something that wasn't human. And that, that's pretty extraordinary. So we're post-awareness now. Everyone's aware of this technology, but we're pre the real deployment. So I think simmering underneath the water mm -hmm. right now is all this work going on to just transform every product, every single company. Um, and so you know, at Cohere, we're excited to be the partner to enterprise in helping them do that. Uh, in terms of competing with platforms versus partnering, I think there's always a bit of both. And we have very close partnerships with, with Google, with Amazon, with Oracle. Uh, and so we're lucky to have those. They're, they're fantastic partners.